Never fear, Superman is here! AKA Josh. I'm Ariana, also known as Superwoman! I can change the courses of mighty rivers, and I can bend steel with my bare hands. Hm. Can you cook? I can boil water. And men are noodles amazing! I think we might need the lunch lady's help. Lunch appear! I'm here to fight the never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. Just what does justice mean? Uh, well... Justice, justice, justice. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Let's learn more about what the word justice means with our word of the day. Okay, read it. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful... No, whoa, whoa! That's not how you say it. You say it like this. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap over tall buildings with one single bound. Look up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! Let me guess. It's Superman! Yeah. <laughs> You're really impressed with yourself, aren't you? Well, I don't like to brag. Ba boom Look at these guns. If you want to be impressed by something really amazing, then you should watch this math minute. Did you know Superman first appeared in Action Comics in June 1938? I wasn't even born then. Superman became the most universally recognized hero in human history. Wow, that's impressive. But he's still not as cool as Batman. Well, let's get the facts straight in Today in History with Connor. Okay. Ariana, do you know any good jokes? Yes. What do you get when you cross the Man of Steel with vegetable broth? Well, I'm the Man of Steel, but mixed with vegetable broth? I don't know. You get soup or man. You're making fun of me. No, I would never. Gators, let's see that joke. Josh, I'll be honest. You make a great Superman. Thanks, and that outfit really suits you. Thank you. It's time for us to go. Oh, I know. We have a world to save. I don't know what you're doing, but I have a date with Batman. But I thought you said I was great! Good morning! Howdy, Gators! Hey, Joel! Hey, Arianna! You ought to tell those youngins what today is! Sure enough! Today is February 25th, 2013! What vittle are we having to die? I sure hope it's those taters. I love them taters. Yum, yum. I heard that. I hope lunch comes faster than grease and lightning. Did you know we're fixing to learn something new? Hold on to your britches. It's time for the word of the day. That word of the day is just unbeknownst to me. I just can't learn new stuff. Why can't, could never do nothing. Just sit here for a spell and watch this math minute. All right. We gotta aim to learn better in Maya. You want to learn history? What for? Get smart. All righty then. I need all the help I can get. Well, let's see today in history. I think it's about my great, 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 great grandpappy. Hey. Quit playing possum. You ain't sleeping. Quit picking on me. It's pretty near time for a joke. The joke of the day? All right. Man, that boy's cornbread just isn't done. Hush your mouth. He's just a funny mess. Quit being so persnickety. I'm tired. Just plum tuckered out. I'm right for a shindig. Before someone gets their overalls in a bunch, y'all stay tuned for those pledges. Good morning, Spencer Hall and
Gators. We're bringing you another GNN episode. I'm Joshua Bowen. And I'm Ariana Owusu. Our top story today is about our head custodian, Mr. LaSalle. He's embarking on a new adventure at George Jenkins High School. I wonder if they know what adventure means. Gators, we can help you out with the word adventure because it's our word of the day coming up next. The Spring Fling is coming up on Friday, March 8th. Make sure you buy your tickets today so you can have as much fun as I'm having when I go. If you have six tickets, you could get your face painted. Well, last year, I had 24 tickets. How many people could have got their face painted then? I don't know. I guess I'd have to do the math. Hey, hey the, the math, math minute's up next. Man, my brain hurts. Yeah, that math minute was pretty intense. Let's lighten things up with a joke. Okay, Gator, sit back, relax, and enjoy the joke of the day. I'm looking forward to the food at Spring Fling. Me too. I can't wait to eat their cotton candy. Before you eat that cotton candy, make sure you eat a good lunch or you'll get a stomach ache. Speaking of lunch, let's see what's on the lunch menu today. Today's lunch is flatbread pizza, PB&J Uncrustable, chicken Caesar salad, garden salad, steamed cauliflower, and applesauce. Do you like green eggs and ham? No, but I've heard of that before. Are you Sam? Sam I am. That sounds like a Dr. Seuss quote to me. Ethan has a quote for us from Dr. Seuss. Josh, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Is that another Dr. Seuss quote? Yes, yes it is. That's the end of our GNN show. Stay classy, Gators. Uncle Josh, and we be looking for me pet gator. Who are you? Mm, ain't talking, I. Come on, you old sea dog. We be batten down the hatches and follow me treasure. Blim me, I see your lunchroom. And me tell me be grinding fiercely. Let's see what we be cooking in the port. Blow me down. That'd be some good eating. Oh. <gasps> Ivashi, here be the treasure. Weigh the anchor and hoist the sail. We off to find the treasure. Shiva me timbers. We found it. We better heave hold the treasure to the ship before it be pillaged. Let's go to the math minute to find the lad who can count this treasure or walk the plank. We have a joke for you. Why did the pirate go to the apple store? Oh, he's got it while telling me. Because he needed to buy an eye patch. <laughs> Get the gators, iPhone, eye patch. <laughs> You should see this next joke. Ahoy, matey. We been doing some learning in this gene and show. But now it's time to get back to the ship. If you find me, pet gator, signal me in the crow's nest. It be time for you to start standing for the legends. Arrgh! Arrgh! Hey, gators. Today's February 1st, and it's a very special episode of GNN. It's our 100th show on our 100th day. How cool. I'm Ariana. And I'm Josh. Have you ever wondered what happened 100 years ago today? Well, want to know more. Our first report is just about that. Let's go to Jay, who's got the info. I had no idea that all happened 100 years ago. I know. That was an entire century. Century? What's that? I don't know. It's just something Jay said during his report. You know, now that I mention it, I think Samantha knows what century means. Let's go see her with the word of the day. Now that we know what a century is, we can figure out how many other measurements of time there are. Like seconds, 
minutes, and hours. I think Alexis has more on that with the Math Minute up next. Have you ever heard of the 100th day story? There's a story? I've never heard of it. Kindergarten is reading it today, and Hope is reporting live from Miss Lanier's classroom. Have you ever met someone who is 100 years old? Well, my grandma's pretty old. She could probably be 100. I doubt she is quite that old. Maybe we could put two people together that equal 100, and then we could say we met someone who was 100 years old. Huh. That gives me an interesting idea. Well, that's the end of our 100th show. I hope you enjoy your 100th day of school. We gotta go. We've got 100 things to do. See you guys later.